Allah Barakatuh for today I'll teach you chapter 3 which is apparatus technique and reagent okay let's start okay this is the content for chapter 3 which is laboratory apparatus analytical balance volumetric glassware heating apparatus desiccator titration apparatus Fusion apparatus, reagent, also cleaning solution. Okay, so this is some library apparatus that normally we use in, inside the lab is optics for heating this bell. Okay, this is the other type of glassware. It has, it have a different purpose for every single type of glassware. So, you need to know what of your event you will your type of glassware that you need to be used. Okay, so inside this we have watch glass for dry. This one is also proposed. This one is and this one is for filtration okay. for glass where we have that which is class A and class B so normally for class A glass it uh, it's made of boro silicate this is superior in term in term chemical resistance so it's still for storage Solution and to heat your your sample and normally is the class can up to two hundred fifty degrees Celsius. The second one is a class B, B which for line glass. This one is not for heating. This one is for uh for the for the apparatus that you need to use. Not a long term exposure. That means uh, for a simple experiment, then you can use the class B. Okay, so how you want to see uh, what class of your glassware is, you can see the, uh, the, the, uh, the glassware. It has a volume, the tolerance, the standard, and, and all the class. Okay, this is, uh, this is the bigger, as you can see over here. So it has a capacity. All of this glass are different capacity. So you need to know the tolerance for every single glassware. Okay, so these are the uh, apparatus that inside the lab. Okay, this is different glassware, which is glass. We have filtering. Volumetric pad, Florence flask, watch glass, test tube, and volumetric uh, flask. Okay, so for the balance, we have two types of balance, which is alcohol balance and also the auxiliary balance. Okay, inside the lab, normally we have electronic and optical balance and all the top balance. Uh, we, we are using a mechanical and optical balance. Okay, so analytical balance, it is required to prepare for an analysis for, for the sample and also the solution. So, every, uh, for the first step in your experimental technique, you need to weigh in your sample. So, the laboratory uh, weighing are typically made three to four. Yes. So we call that as an ample balance. But I think uh, uh, most probably now on we are using an electronic balance. So it's made, it's made uh, your easier to weigh in your sample. Okay. And then we have single pan mechanical balance and also semi micro and micro balance. Depends on the type of sample that you need to take. Okay. So based on comparison of one way against another, we have in 
point plus just zero point if okay it will drift for a number of reason including temperature changes humidity also the static electricity this point should be checked at least once every half an hour during the period of using the lens so this is uh, the part of uh the important parts of the bands that you need to know but normally uh for need to weigh in your sample all of this uh this method all of this check will be done by the pps or the lab assistant okay so this is the typical problem which is up to 200 gram only and here uh, it measures 0 0.01 or 0 0.01 okay so for the electronic analytical band is sensitive to 0 0.1 milligram. The semi micro balance is sensitive up to 0 0.01 and the micro balance is up to the 0 0.001 microgram. So the load limit of this balance are corresponding less than balance and greater care must be taken. Okay, this is how you want to install the wing pan. This is how to balance. Normally, inside the lab, you do, do, do the people do the maintaining and also the creation of the balance. But before you are, you need to weigh your sample, you have to check this. Make sure the bubble is inside this circle. Okay, this is the incorrect one. If you see the bubble is outside the circle, that means the balance is not in calibrate, uh, it's uncalibrated. So you have to make it inside the bubble. Then you can okay, you use balance at dangerous places, dusty room, near gas supply, fluid and solvent. This, uh, this is the wrong placement of balance near to the window, near to the uh, and you cannot put your balance direct to the sunlight or maybe the room is the room is too high or too low not good. and you may never drop your balance. Okay. is weighing good. Okay. Weighing sample are weighing by difference. Keep the bottle cap except when removing the sample. Hygroscopic, that means it's easier to absorb moisture or water. Your sample uh, is uh, it's easy to absorb the moisture. So it's not good. And weighing with your bottle okay there's two type of thing which is rough and accurate so if rough weighing that means you can uh, take up to two or three figures uh, for accurate weighing are reserved for the weight of a sample to be analyzed and must be include up to four significant figures okay uh, you can use uh, for weighing a solid you can use this method first direct way which is uh, weighing bottle boat juice make sure you weigh in your uh, weighing boat first before you put your sample this was for non hygroscopic sample and make sure you press the button there after you your boat or your bottle if not that's me you are weighing with your bottle then there will be there will be an error for your experiment 
and the second one you can weigh in by difference so solid chemical material are usually weighed and dry in a bottle so you, this one for the of the hygroscopic sample okay this is the technique of weighing of liquid solution okay so weighing a liquid is usually by direct weighing so the liquid is transferred to weighing vessel just kept kept to prevent evaporation during weighing then weight okay we have source of air in weighing it's include the of the object wet or cold object then put to the temperature before you weigh your sample so for this that hygroscopic is it pick up a moisture then you need to Exposure. I think 